Hello and back to another Fives video. I'm Jacob from Jacob's Books Corner and today we're kind of in like my writing setup. I have a feeling this is where a lot of my book writing videos for the new year is going to be because I like I like the background. It's nice and fun. Um, but basically today we're going to be talking about my goals and what I think I can improve on in the new year and just in general. Like these are going to be life goals but also like YouTube goals. Um, not YouTube like booktube and writing in general and that type of things. So let's kind of jump into it. Let's talk about it. For 2020, um, let's do like a little bit of reflection. For 2020, I personally had a really good year. Um, not mentally or physically, but like getting shit done, that was the year I got shit done was 2020, which was really nice. Um, I saw a lot of movies or I watched a lot of movies. I didn't really see a lot of movies because of the pandemic. Um, I read a lot of books, I played a lot of games, I wrote a lot, you know, and I made really big headways in certain projects, and I DNF certain projects, you know, I put them on the back burner, which was really hard to do, I came with new ideas to bring those projects back, or just fully admit that it's probably bad, you know, um, for channel-wise, we grow so much in 2020, which was great, um, both of my channels, like, all my channels really grew, in the month, in the year 2020, I did a lot of fun things. I have a lot of fun things planned for 2021. Um, and so let's talk about those. We keep, we'll do writing at the end. I take it back. Let's talk about life goals. One of the biggest changes I'm going to have this year is I'm going to become a, a father. Um, I never thought I was going to be a dad, but I am. We're going to have a baby. Um, and I'm so happy and excited for this new opportunity. Her name is going to be Emmy. She's 16 years old and she's a fat cat. Here's an image of her. She's pretty great. She'll be here tomorrow. It's pretty fucking crazy. I've known her for 16 years. Um, she's popped up in my vlogs before. I love her and she'll be here. I've never had to physically not take care of someone other than myself. Um, and she's living with me until she, uh, until she passes, which I hope is for another 20 years. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I think obviously it's going to be sooner than that, but, um, she'll be 16 on February, February 14th, which is her birthday, which is Valentine's Day. I'm both extremely nervous, but also, um, curious to see how one I will do. Um, ultimately this cat has been a huge work on my mental health in general ever since I've known her. My mental health has always been kind of shit, though. So, like, she just, oh, she's a good positive to put it in the good shit, you know? Um, and a big goal of mine this year is to go to therapy. Uh, to finally bite that bullet that I know I need to do. I don't have anything against therapy. I've talked about it in the past slightly where I don't like the therapeutic endings. Which is kind of funny. Just because of reasons. But I really do think therapy would truly help me. Do I think getting a cat right now is the smartest decision with the plans I had for therapy? No. Um, I also won't be going back to usual university. That was a somewhat more easier decision than I thought it was going to be, which was nice. Um, because I don't, we all believe she'll probably have like a, maybe a year or two, hopefully more than that left. I'm going to go ahead and go to community college in August. Um, and get all my general education done and then um, go off to a bigger university for my major which will be eventually film. Um, so I'm going to go through and get all of those gen eds done so I don't have to worry about them when I'm in college and I can just take the classes I really truly want to um, and things like that. So that's like the biggest you know that's one of the bigger highlights of this, this year coming up is in August I'll be going back to school. I'm really fucking nervous for it um, I'll have a cat to take care of, I'll have YouTube, I'll have my normal job, and I'll have school. I'll be so freaking busy. I'm looking forward to it, though. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I th I'm not fun, but it's gonna be stressful, but I think it's gonna be a good stress. Um, what, some other plants, I want to get physically healthy again. Um, I know, personally, I, the, the way I am today, the way I look, the things I'm not proud of are because of me. And so I think this year, um, I just want to get physically healthy and mentally healthy. I want to be a better and healthier person. I don't want to have another birthday like tomorrow where I'm shocked that I made it to 22. 
I want to be able to be like, oh my god, yeah, it's just another birthday. Like, I can't wait to make it to 30. Not that, not, oh my god, I made it to 30. How did I do that? I don't want it to become this, like, major shock. You know what I mean? I think you do. For YouTube in general, BookTube, we have a few of those uh, important ones. For instance, starting on November 10th, we'll be doing a weekly live show here on the channel, which is a writing live show. I think every week we're just going to do writing sprints together. And during those weeks, during those particular sprints, I think I'm going to prioritize short stories. To continue to build short story, uh, like short stories in general, I think short stories are really, really fun. And I think I'll be sharing those short stories over on like a vlog or something. Um, like one a month or something along those lines. And maybe we can make a video where I read it to you guys, where I've edited it. I felt pretty confident about it and I really liked it. Um, let me know in your guys' comments, you know, your guys' thoughts and stuff and the opinions about it in the comments. That way we can just do writing sprints slash reading sprints, whatever we're feeling that week. Um, and those will happen every Sunday going forward for the rest of the year. Um, and that way, you know, it's going to be really fun, really exciting. Um, and we'll change around the times. So sometimes it'll be really early in the morning, other times they're not. And that's why I don't have a time place. I just have a date on it, which is Sundays, uh, starting this Sunday. Another big thing that's happening this year is Buffy-a-thon. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. And so let me very quickly explain it to you, as it's a huge thing that's happening on the channel, and I don't want you guys to freak out about it. So be Hello, I just want to come in here and very quickly mention what Buffy-a-thon truly is. Um, it's just a... I wanted to start my own readathon, to be honest with you, and so I made Buffyathon, which is a watch along slash read along. By the way, I'm sorry if you guys did not know, aired back in 1999, 2003, a 70 year TV show, and then it spawned off a comic book called uh, Buffy Season 8. Buffy Season 8 did really well for Dark Horse, and they spawned off three sequels called Buffy Season 9, 10, and 11, and 12, I guess four sequels. I don't actually know. Is that five seasons? I'm not really sure. Either way, the first seven months of the year, um, we'll be watching a television show together while a live show will happen at the end of every month. And then um, from the eighth month to the twelfth month, we'll be reading the graphic novels, um, which will also be, you know, sporadic and stuff. There will also be, like I said, a live show at the end of every month. And then the list down below, which there is a list um, I'm going to link you to down below. We'll have the exact episodes. I mean, it's just in the description. It's not like a link. But um, we'll have the exact episodes that I personally will be reacting to on the channel. For the first season, because there's only 13 episodes, we're only reacting to the worst episode. But because every season NASA has 22 to 24 episodes, we'll be reacting to the best and worst episode. I do want to mention some of these worst or best episodes are a part of part ones and part twos, as certain episodes are broken up into two parts. We're only reacting to one part of that. So um, if you've never seen the TV show, it could be kind of confusing. And I recommend you watch it. It's one of my favorite TV shows of all time. I've been watching it since I was a child. Um, and I just adore it a lot and things. There are major problems with it in which we'll be talking about. I think we'll probably be talking about mostly that stuff in the live shows and not so much anything else. I also want to mention, I'm not really sure how I'm going to react to the graphic novels itself. So if you guys want me to look up the Goodreads reviews and figure out which ones are the worst volumes and the best volumes... Let me know in the comments down below how you think I should handle that if you have any plans. I did this because I did I posted a video called a Buffy Haul, which I'll link down below, or maybe I'll put it in the cards. And it did really well, and a lot of you guys really liked it, a lot of you guys spawned to it. And so I figured this is a great way to bring in my own type of read-along. So that's what this is. It's a watch-along, read-along. And if you have any questions, I will gladly answer them either on Instagram, through DMs, and or in comments down below. And thank you. Okay, let's jump back to the normally scheduled video so that's buffy and thon let me know if you're looking forward to it yeah um our shadow hunter stuff will continue uh that's almost over but you know we'll, we'll continue along i have a few other series i want to read i have a few fun videos i have planned um from secret tbr all books i personally want to read i am not playing any of those games anymore where i'm reading books that are simply popular that i think i'm gonna love but i'm gonna hate hating up anyways um I have a few of those planned, but I think they're all books that objectively I should fall in love with because of the person who wrote it or the subject matter. And so I'm giving myself as much like room to pass. For books um, in general, my Goodreads tool is at 50 books, lost TBRs. I wasn't really sure where I was going to put this in all my videos I'm slating for the new year. So we're up to date and we can just get started with content. Um, and I think the first thing we need to talk about is TBRs. Um, one of the bigger things we need to talk about. And I figure this is probably the best place to put it. 
TBRs. I don't like them. Um, I like having them, and so I'm going to have an overall 2021 TBR. And if you guys are curious about the books that are on that list, um, let me know, and I can totally make a video on that if that's what you want. I'm also planning on having a quarterly TBR, which we'll, we'll do a video about reading those five books um, in that quarterly TBR. Um, and then we'll have a video for that, and then we'll come back, and that'll be like my wrap up for that for that quarter. Um, and then we'll have another quarterly TBR type of thing. That's all the plans for TBRs. TBRs in general, I just tend to have the same six books on every single time, and I find it very boring of a video. I know some people really like watching them. I, I know that from, like, just based on view counts and stuff, but they're never always the best. Like, wrap-ups are always do better, and I much prefer telling you about the books I read, not so much the books I'm getting you guys excited for and things like that. Um, so it's just going to be a mystery. If you guys are curious about it, I think I'm going to have, like, instead of, like, TBR shelves i'm gonna have red shelves so i read these books in january on my goodreads and then maybe delete them next year i'm not really sure um every year i go through and i clean out my shelves on goodreads because i always make so many of them but we do have a 2021 tbr that i'm slowly building as i watch more and more recommendation videos and more and more videos just in general um and so that's an overall list of old books new books you know that type of thing so that's TBRs. I don't like them, and that's why they're going away. Um, our last TBR would be, like, I guess November. Yeah. Book writing videos are still on the same. Um, they're going to happen every other month. Um, we'll have it every month in the end of the month. Um, this month, we're going to have a lot to talk about. I'm very, very excited to do that book writing video when we get there. Moving over to writing, other than that, like, short little writing thing we talked about. We're going to talk about Broken Boys and some other projects that are in the pipeline that are coming this year. Broken Boys has been an interesting ride. Um, I have someone who is currently 76, 78%, if I'm not mistaken. The last time I checked in with her, way through it. I My mom is 80 pages into it. I am on my second reread of, I'm on like page 50 or something, taking more in-depth notes um, for draft three that is coming. All deadlines are due on January 15th, and then we can start officially working on draft three. And so basically with Broken Boys, something I've come into realization, something I'm going to try to be doing, I am still going to try to get this published in a bookshelf near you or a bookstore near you. But the problem is this is a new adult college romance, and they just objectively tend to fail. Um, so if it does not get picked up within the first year or so um, of being on submission, I'll, I'll try it for a minute. Um, there's no guarantees and then i'm gonna self-publish it um and probably put it into kindle unlimited as i think it'll get the most audience range that way so that's the plan for broken boys um the plan is to go on submission by august of this year and so it's just really trying to pop out those drafts as much as humanly possible and get it to the best of its condition and then if it does not get picked up for a submission hopefully i get notes back why hopefully it's a story problem not so much it's oh we don't take new adult um then I will help to improve and then I will also probably invest in a actual editor before I release this book as it will probably be released whatever day I decide, <laughs> you know, and so I'll, I'll do everything to make it look the best and look like it's an actual physical copy and things like that. It will probably be my first published novel. It just might be self-pub, which is fine. I'm okay with that. I have a lot of cool things I want to do with self-publishing um, and so I'm just really excited um, in general for for that um some other things i'd like to mention so other than broken boys i want to partake in every nanorimo writing a new project um i used to say this is a horrible idea but now i'm kind of against that i think it's a good idea so we're gonna participate in april and june and um in november november is a questionable one we'll see if we do it or not but the, the camps will definitely participate and set, at least give me two new drafts. One of those drafts will be a middle grade novel, not my middle grade fantasy novel written for my little sister, which will eventually would probably be, I don't even know. I'd probably try to get it like traditionally published. Those are on the back burner um, for the moment, for the time being. I do plan on writing them this year. I think we're going to spend a whole, I might even put a camp to it and write them all out in like one single camp, you know, that yeah, could be kind of fun. And, um, and then I'll edit them and stuff a little bit later, but that's the plan for that. But I have another one that's a little bit more of a hard hitting, um, middle grade contemporary. And I've been reading a lot of like a lot of heavy hitting middle grade contemporary specifically for this reason to try to figure out where the line is. That I'm not allowed to cross. Supposedly it's really, really big. So that's really fun. I have another one that's kind of more obscure. 
but I also kind of want to write. And then I have this idea for a paranormal romance series that will be more like a serial where it's like 100 pages or something. I write the whole book and then we start dividing up in the parts and those parts will get released like bi-monthly whenever I decide to put those out. Um, I have a lot of fun ideas. A lot, a lot of fun things I'm really looking forward to. And so, yeah, 2021 looks great. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys all soon. Thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys all next time. What are you guys' plans for 2021? Let me know in the comments down below. 